Oh, that's good. I like that. I've never noticed that before. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know what that was. <laughs> Jonah. Whoa! <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Jonah, go to the great city of Nineveh and oh. preach to them to repent and turn away from their evil ways. Nineveh, seriously, of all of the cities, really? Oh, I can't stand that place. Ah, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to do it, all right? Look, I got to hide. I got to get away. He won't find me. Let's go. Come on, right here. I need a hiding place. Somebody, somebody, right here, right here. All right, y'all, everybody, be quiet, yeah, quiet. Hey, Casey Zivik, I need a place to hide. I don't want to go to Nineveh. I can't believe he asked me to go. All right? The place is crazy. Shh, shh. Jonah. Wow, man. That's you. That's on you. All right. Okay, we cannot let's go. Hide from Where are we me. going? Where are we going? I can't even see. <laughs> right in here. Right in here. Jonah. Okay. All right. Y'all cool out. Cool out. I need a place to just chill for a minute. All right? Jonah. It's on you if I get caught. Is that him? Is that him? Do as I commanded ah. you. Ah. Go to Nineveh. Ah. I'm going up here. One more. One more shot. One more shot. Right here. Right here. Okay. Cool. Jonah. Don't say a word. Ah! What? <sighs> I don't want to go to Nineveh, God. Please don't make me go. You don't know what it's like over there. Well, maybe you do, but let me remind you. Those people are evil. They're not going to, you know what they're going to do to a guy like me? They will straight up kill me in that place. And I, that's even if I can get, even get into the city. It's just built all around with watchtowers and there's guards marching around everywhere. You think they're going to listen to a scrawny dude like me in Nineveh? No way. I'm not going to do it. And here's another question for you. Why would you even want to send me to a place like Nineveh after all of the evil that they've done for their entire lives? Doesn't make any sense. I want you to go now and tell the Ninevites all about me. Stop running from me. I will always know where you are. I can't do it. I can't do it. Even though Jonah heard God's command, he decided to make his own plan and to disobey God. Gotta get my bag here. I'm not going. I can't do it. Of all the places, I can't go to Nineveh. That place is terrible. All right. So Nineveh's north and east. If my geography serves me, I really wish, really wish I had a map of some sort. Oh, good, perfect. Okay, that's great. All right. So Nineveh up there. I just need to go somewhere in the opposite. Oh, hey, 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 guys, guys, perfect. You, hey, listen up, guys, up here. Where are you going? Where are you sailing to? Where are we headed to? Yeah, you, I'm talking to you, Grateful Dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you, uh, you know where Quail Springs Mall is, man. Sure, of course, everyone knows. You go past the mall, not okay. the mall. A All right. little further, and then further beyond that, man, and then a little further still, and then you get to this place called Tarshish, man. That's where we're headed. Tarshish, okay. So Tarshish is not Nineveh. That's good. I basically want to go in the opposite direction of Nineveh, all right? So can you get me there? What's, how can I get on the boat? Sounds like Tarshish be the place for you, matey. Yeah, I like it. I like the sound of it. We've established that. But I need to get on the boat, all right? So what, how can we make that happen? What kind of money you got on you, bro? Well, you know, I got some good uh, shekels. How's shekels sound to you? I don't know much about shekels, but if they're money, we'll take them. <laughs> All right. Well, pitch me an offer. What is it going to take? I... Oh. 
One million shekels. <laughs> I'll give you 50 shekels. Sounds good. So, all right, good. We, when can we leave? When can we leave? We can leave within the hour. Yeah, then the, <laughs> I need to leave right now. Whatever you're doing can wait. I need to leave right now, and I'll pay for it. I'm going to let a little hungry. I'm going to have a little fish and mar before we go. <laughs> then we leave. You know, man, the thing about the fish and more, it's the coleslaw. <laughs> I, I say no coleslaw, extra crunchies. Guys, guys, come on. We can debate that later. I need to leave now. Can we set sail here in just a few minutes? Come on. Listen, man, give us a couple of hours. We'll load No, a few no, no. Now. Now. Can we do it? Bring your stuff around back and we'll finish up and then we'll go. Okay. All right. Well, what's the check baggage situation? First bag free. <laughs> <laughs> Second bag, each additional bag is one unblemished lamb. What? Are you kidding me? They used to be free. Times are tough. Oh, good grief. Do I get a meal? Peanuts. Pretzels. All right. What about security? Do I have to take my shoes off, sandals off for security or anything? Listen, man, I thought you were in a hurry. All right. Okay, I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Jonah is very pleased that he has found a ship sailing away from Nineveh. He hurries to get on the ship before it leaves the port. All aboard! This ship sails for Tarshish. Whew. Guys, what is up? Oh, it's so good to be here. It's a puffy shirt. Oh. Don't mock the puffy shirt. Oh, I love it. I love the puffy shirt. Hey, you're like me in like 80 years. That's awesome. What's up, man? How are you? Is that a, is that a quail? A sea quail? I That's great. All right. Hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Thank you for taking me on. I appreciate it. Just going to throw that down there. Listen, here's what needs to happen. Jonah needs a little nappy. All right. Need to catch a little shut eye before we leave. Uh, uh, no offense, man. No offense. Shut eyes in my, in my case. So going to go down into the hold. Going to get a little nap. Here's what I need. Need a cup of hot tea. Need one of those neck pillows. And I need a, a moist towelette or a damp cloth or something. Or a pineapple. That'll work. All right. Thank you. Going down. And so the ship begins to leave the port. The sailors are working about the ship. But soon the skies begin to get dark and very gray. The winds become very violent and the ship threatens to break apart. All the sailors become very afraid. They begin to pray to their own gods, but not to the one true God. Pray to your gods of the seas that they'll save us from this terrible storm. Oh, please, save us. Oh, oh. Alright, we have to get rid of some extra weight and throw it overboard. Oh, all of these old fish have got to go. It's not enough. She's about to see what else. Can Wait we here. I'll go down below and see what else there is. What in the world? He's asleep down here. Man, wake up. Come on, bro. Jonah, wake up. Pray to your God. Perhaps he'll hear our prayers and deliver us from this storm. Man, you would not believe the dream. Of Whoa! This is a. When did this happen? Guys, oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can kind of explain. I don't think my God is going to be too much help in this circumstance. I might have neglected to mention that I'm actually running from said God, actually. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. No. You did not mention did that earlier. Sorry. Thing. That could be relevant to the situation. Let's pass the box to find out who's responsible for this here. Great idea. Little game of rock, papyrus, scissors? Yeah, All right, do it. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! The sailors Man. cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. What Tell in us. the world 
did you do to bring on the wrath of your God? It's a long story, trust me. Who are you? Where are you from? And what have you done to bring this storm upon us all? I'm a Hebrew. I serve the God of heaven and earth. He made the land and all of the seas all around us. What should we do to him, man? We've never lost a man before. We've got to just pray harder, roll harder, sail harder oh, than ever before. What do you think? I didn't want it to come to this, I'm going to be honest. But here's where we're at. I see only one possible solution. You're going to have to throw me overboard into no, the ocean. No, no yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It sounds... Hey, guys, I'm totally okay with this plan. <laughs> I appreciate your support. If God sees my act, he will rescue us. He will calm the storm. Only my God has the power to do that. If you throw me into the ocean, he will save you. Ah, the storm is getting worse. It seems we have no choice. Lord, please don't hold it against us. Though we be making the poor sailor walk the Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> What's the hold up? Let's wait, wait, wait. Are we ready? There's it's so the much to do here. to throw you off this ship. <laughs> and a one, a two, a three. So the sailors took Jonah and threw him overboard into the raging waters. At this moment, the storm immediately became calm. The men greatly feared the Lord, and they offered him a sacrifice and vowed to worship the one true Lord.